In this video, we're gonna talk about Samsung's new virtual production solutions and their partnership with Vue. Real quick, you're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors, Blackmagic, Vue, and Lucidlink for helping make our NAB coverage possible. And now, back to the video. All right, so I'm here with Jamie from Samsung. Uh, so tell me about the partnership that you've got going on with Vue. Yeah, so we, um, we've just launched our product into the virtual production space uh, about six months ago. And you know, we came in contact with the Vue team uh, just prior to that. And we saw the real value in what they were building out with their software package. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, ultimately we're a display company, right? So we are looking to sell displays. And we also wanted to partner with the right company who could help drive that business. But also our wherewithal as a company, as a brand, to also help them build out their business. So we kind of came together and we looked at the advantages on both sides and we said, you know what, let's do this. And so we entered into an actual agreement to uh, package together our LED walls with their view software so that we can reach a broader market. Big volumes are big volumes, but you only have so many of those, right? Yeah. But the View One Mini yeah. is repeatable, and it's mobile, mm -hmm. and it's smaller form factor, and it's affordable. Mm -hmm. So we have this advantage of basically being able to kind of bolt our displays with their software and all the camera tracking so that it's all essentially one SKU at one price. Yeah. So that's the real advantage. Okay. And what did when you came into this and you're kind of looking at some of the challenges with virtual production and other LED uh, tiles, what were some of the advantages that Samsung had that where you were able to address with some well, of the challenges. Well, what we did was uh, on the on the wall on this wall product. What we did is we're leveraging our proprietary. So we have a we have a product line called the Wall, mm -hmm. and that's our high end LED product that actually gets deployed in lots of applications for super high end visual reproduction. We ported that technology over to this this form factor so that it fits virtual production. It's a 400 millimeter by 900 millimeter cabinet. So it's better uh, physically built for virtual production, whether it's going to be a big volume or a small fam form factor wall. So we're bringing the best of our technology and we're porting it into the form factor that works for virtual production. What's amazing about this is because it's COB chip on board, the blacks are the darkest blacks I've ever seen. So you used to have to really control your lighting. You know, if you go around the steps here at NAB, people have big black, uh, you know, materials to make sure that the lights don't get on here. With this, you don't have that issue. You know, it's it's uh, the deepest blacks you can imagine, and you can shine light right at it. It's non-reflective, so really cool technology. Very high refresh rate, almost 12,000 hertz. So um, allows us to do you know up to 240 frames per second, which is you know amazing for these type of walls. At what type of possibilities do you see this opening up, kind of compared to some of the challenges with virtual production in the past and other LED well, panels? Well, you know, the limitations of virtual production was you had to use certain cameras with certain speeds and sync this and sync that. Now, when you have a wall that is operating this fast and has blacks that rival, really, uh, what you see in real life, I mean, they're almost one-to-one. -one. You don't have to do so much compensation. Before, we would overlight everything. And the reason was you had to make your black levels brighter here so that they look like the background. But now that that's, that's dark and this is high contrast, very high exposure here when, it, when we're using the um, uh, P3, it's, I mean, it's just amazing to your eye. Another key feature is, you know, it's using high dynamic range and it's able to upscale from SDR um, and from lower res resolutions to this image you see here. And so okay. that's a great capability to have on board with the processor. And, and that uh, happens in the display, or do you have to run that through your server? It runs uh, like through the server? Samsung processor. So okay. you can give it essentially less than optimal color space, okay. less than optimal resolution, and it has the science behind it to make it look really good. So they've done a great job with that and really happy with what Samsung's produced so far. Being new in the virtual production space, what kind of other trends do you see happening in the next year uh, or two? Yeah, that's a good question. So we see, on our end, we see basically three verticals where we're seeing a, a lot of uh, uh, trending happening. Because like I said, volumes are volumes, but we see a tremendous growth uh, area in higher education because there's a curriculum already in place mm -hmm. and they may not have a budget for a big volume, so they want something smaller form factor. Uh, we see a big play uh, in corporate. There's a lot of uh, experiential marketing going on in corporate uh, corporations now, and they want, or they might want to have a CEO that sits behind a, you know, behind a screen, and they're going to create some unique content that can be distributed out. So there's a lot of play in corporate, uh, and then we're also seeing sports and entertainment, a big application there for all sorts of different sports entertainment applications where they're looking again for smaller form factor. They're doing, you know, if they're going to announce, you know, um, like app, new athletes, or they're going to announce new programs. It's tied to their pro, uh, new. Uh, 
uh, agreements are tied to their programs. For like making their content yep. for their team. Yep. Like exactly. the hype reels yep. and all those exactly. other assets. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So that's something that we're seeing a big play in as well. And so our our just and we have a we have a deep reach already into that market anyways. Mm. So to be able to be able to kind of bring this technology as a part of that is a real right. strong value proposition. Cool. Well, thanks. Appreciate the uh, All right. update, Jeremy. Thank, Thank you. you. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And thanks again to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible. For more NAB videos, be sure to check out our playlist with all of our NAB coverage. Catch you in the next episode.